Now to get to crossing five blood. Today I'm going to be reading out from um, the Open Bible, which is a translation of the New Testament that I'm producing. And I'm going to be reading out from Matthew chapter 6. And all the um, um, videos for all the chapters of Matthew that are available on my website, which is Christian's Bible blog. And there you can also download individual chapters um, of Matthew. Um, and the Open Bible is a translation which is called the Open Bible because it's designed for anyone to be able to use as freely as they wish to perhaps create their own videos of recordings of the New Testament text or to perhaps make audio recordings or to post a whole book online or things like that. Okay? So this um, translation of Matthew chapter 6 was last updated on the 5th of February 2000. Well, Matthew chapter 6. Be careful that you do not perform your charitable deeds in front of other people just so that they might see you. If you do this, you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. Therefore, when you perform your charitable deeds, do not blow a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogue and in the street so that they may receive glorious praises from other people. I tell you the truth, they have already received their reward. When you perform your charitable deeds, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. In this way, your charitable deeds may remain secret, and your father who sees the secret deeds will himself reward you openly. When you pray, you should not do as the hypocrites do, for they love to, to pray standing in the synagogue and in street corners so that other people might see them. I tell you the truth, they have already received their reward. You, when you pray, go into your closet and when you have shut the door, pray to your father privately and your father who sees the secret deed will reward you openly. When you pray, do not use empty or meaningless repetition as the Gentiles do, for they think that their prayers will be acknowledged just because they use so many words. Therefore, do not be like them, for your Father knows the things you need before you ask me. Pray in this way, therefore, our Father, who is in heaven, may your name be considered as holy, may your kingdom come, and your will be done on earth, as it is done in heaven. Give us today our necessary bread for today. Forgive our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For if you forgive other people's sins against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive people, Neither will your father forgive you. Additionally, when you fast, do not wear a sad expression on your face as the hypocrites do, for they twist their faces horribly so that other people may see that they are fasting. I tell you the truth, they have already received their reward. You, when you fast, groom your hair and wash your face so that you do not make it obvious to other people that you are fasting, but only to your father in secret. Then your father who sees you secretly will reward you openly. Do not store up for yourself treasures on earth, where moths and wrath can eat them away, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor wrath can eat them away, and where thieves neither break in nor steal. For your heart on where you have stored up your treasure. The eye is the light of the body. If therefore your eye is pure, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is evil, your whole body will be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in you is actually darkness, how great that darkness must be. No man can serve two masters. Either he will hate this one and love that other one or he will follow after this one and despise that other one. You cannot serve both God and the God of money. Therefore, I tell you,
how you live. Do not think anxiously at all about your life, what you will eat, or what you will drink, or even for your body, what clothes you will wear. Is life not more than food, and the body not more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air, for they do not sow, nor do they reap, nor do they gather their food into barns. And yet, your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not worth more than they are? Who of you, by worrying, can add a single cubit to his height? And why do you worry about clothing? Think about the lilies of the field, how they grow, for they neither labor hard nor spin cloth. And yet, I tell you that even Solomon, with all his glorious wealth, was not dressed like one of these. Therefore, if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is here today, but is growing in the furnace tomorrow, will he not take greater care to clothe you, or you disbelieving people? Therefore, do not worry, asking yourself, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or how shall we afford clothing? For the Gentiles run after all these things. Your Heavenly Father knows that you need all these things, all of these things. But pursue first and foremost the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these other things will be made available to you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry for itself. The day's evil is sufficient for it. Thank you very much for watching. You've been listening to Matthew chapter 6 from the Open Bible. My name is Tosin. Thank you very much and bye for now.